Once upon a time, there were two best friends. One of them had a computer, and the other one sucked. Alright, welcome back to this game is bullshit. We did it, we're here. Uh, also, we should mention, there was a fucking goddamn save point. Okay, so I'm not allowed to kill her now? Is that what's up? Is she gonna remain there? I don't see her ghostly essence anymore. I don't see her creepy lady fart gas. Okay, there was a couple things. I don't think I actually want to do this one first. So... Um... There was something there, right? Yeah. Yeah, we we're playing White Knight. This is, uh... <sighs> this is gonna be the last episode in this recording session. I, for one, am actually super grateful. This has been kind of a frustrating, uh... Frustrating experience. Yeah, look at that incredible animation. Okay, so that opens up that. Now I can point this elsewhere in the room. What was the other thing I needed? That, right yeah. there. But yeah, like, um, I was saying before we started this, like, I can understand all the criticisms towards this now. Yeah, I mean, the controls, they honestly are very clunky. The camera yeah. angles are really cool, but they needed to do a much better job at, like, making that work. Yeah. Uh, there's a key. It's probably for the door in the first room. I mean, it's like... This it's something Resident Evil, uh, not Resident, Evil, yeah, Resident Evil did well in its early games. Was the, are you kidding me? It just shut off. Probably because you got what you needed. There's a ghost. Just go through the closet. Get the fuck out of here. Or just a key for here. Nope. Gotta go through the closet. Uh, I can't go through the closet. I can only look at it. Uh Okay. If it, it hits me with another, like, bullshit death sequence, I'm going to be very pissed. Do you have to go turn it on again? She's right there. I mean, I see her. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you have to go turn it on again. Don't you fucking dare kill me right now. Don't you fucking dare. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? This is not okay. All right. Um, but at least we were right outside there. We found a save point. <sighs> my god. My god, Jesus. My god, Jesus. Can you last another two minutes to at least make this a five minute episode? I mean, this is this is torturous at this point. This, like, you saw that. Like, how, yeah, what that was I, bullshit. What am I supposed to do there? What What is my option? There was no way to sneak around her. There was no way. She was just there waiting to kill me. And... I don't know. We've we've talked about like kind of bad game design before. Yeah, we talked about this on Origami. We talked about this on The Ball. And this is called artificial difficulty. Yeah. It's not actually hard for what you have to do it's as the player. It's just not designed well. It 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 doesn't give the player cohesive easy options. Um to do anything. Like that that it completely is a fault of design. I don't know. Maybe I should have waited for her to walk around, but like waiting waiting in video games, that's something that Aaron Hansen talks about in his Legend of Zelda games. Um, when you're forced to wait in a video game, it's a sign of bad design. Uh, it causes artificial difficulty, it causes you to think that you're accomplishing something that's difficult when really you're not. You're just sitting there waiting for it to be over. Essentially, which honestly, a, this game has a lot of artificial difficulty. It has, and it's extremely frustrating to me. Um, it's been driving me crazy for a hot second now, and this this just proves my point. Like, what what was I supposed to do there, other than wait for it to be over, which is yeah. just not fun. I don't know. 
it doesn't mean all games have to be high paced and you know action packed or anything. Um, but like have some have something interesting there. You know, it's not this isn't this isn't scary. It's just frustrating. Also, I would like to say how this recording session went from kind of low energy, but still sort of like, okay, to talking about fucking ghosts, to this game is bullshit. So, like, right now, I have to wait for this woman. She's walking around, She's walk she walked directly towards my goal, where I was trying to go, which is annoying to say the least. Um, because now, do the poor visibility here... There she is. See, now I can kind of see where she's at. I think I might be safe to go. I think yeah. she's... Oh, come on. Okay. I think she walked the opposite direction. She did not. See, this is what I'm talking about with waiting. Like, I'm not actually playing the game right now. The game is playing me. Alright. So... We're actually going to cut this episode. No, well, so let me I... let me complete this portion and we'll pick it up again. I just it's frustrating and I'd rather not like have to talk over that frustration. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll be pick back. It up. Okay, we did it. <sighs> so, first of all, we remembered to move this thing out like away from the door. Uh so then we did it, kept the light pointed over there, drew out the ghost lady, and killed her with the light. Yeah. Those were the key goes. It was... It was a pain. It was a pain. Everything that I just said the last time you heard me talk stands. This is, uh... This game is like a slow poison. Yeah, no, this game is actually... Like, I still haven't gotten to a save point yet, and that bothers me. Yeah, like, since before, um... Like, this room. Because that... That was a sequence... Well, you you can interact with that door? Yeah, I know. I don't want to yet. All right. That was a sequence that kind of requires a save point. It was difficult. It was not even really difficult. Like I said, artificial difficulty. Fifteen California cities in nineteen thirties. More about Selena at. at that's actually kind of that's uh, that's a cool band name actually, Selena like the Frozen Sons, Selena and the Frozen Sons. Yeah, it's actually kind of cool. cool. Um, pretty punk rock. The lore of this game is fine. I'm just, I mean, the environment is interesting. The backstory is interesting. The concept is super cool. The art design is super cool, but the execution is really lacking. And right, there's Selena again. She goes out on the balcony. Which, like, honestly, a big reason a lot of the execution is lacking is because of the controls. So I've talked about... Um, I've talked about this before, but in, in horror games, I, I have a tendency to stray away from horror games in which there's no combat mechanic. This was something that was made popular back with Slender the Arrival. Uh, amnesia. Um, sorry, Slender the Eight Pages. Yeah, and Amnesia. Yeah, am yeah. Is games in which you're unable to do anything about your situation. All you can do is kind of run and hide and all that. So I'd like to say Amnesia, objectively a terrible game. Oh, shit. Is she going to kill herself? I don't know. She's doing a thing, though. Yeah. The moon goddess. Yep. Oh, uh, well. Goodbye! What was she trying to do when she jumped? To put an end to a dream she seems sentenced huh. to live again and again? Or is this the end of the... To give me proof she needed me? Or is this the end of the game? I mean, it's, it's like not her. the end yeah. of the game. I wanted to escape. But I wanted to escape with her. I, seriously, what's wrong with this guy? It's a fucking ghost. ghost. <laughs> it's a fucking ghost, dude. So... But yeah, games, games in which they give you a mechanic to deal with whatever's going to kill you. In that instance, fucking up is more on the player. Is that a save point? I think it is. Oh my god. Is that a save point? Holy shit, no. That's frustrating. Those lights are always at save points. Uh... 
frustrated. What? Why would you not? There's one in the corner over okay. here. That must mean that yeah, there's another candle. Yeah. This is definitely a safe point. Okay, okay gonna save. But like I was saying, uh, in those instances, you know, when you fuck up, it's more on the player and less on the game. Uh, in games where you have to hide consistently, stuff like Outlast, stuff like Amnesia... I also think Outlast is a terrible game. Uh, games like those, it, it actually takes you out of the game. It takes you out of the immersion of it. Because most of the time when you fuck up, it's just because they put you in a situation where you can't really do much. Um, anyway, that said, we're going to end this episode here. We're going to pick this series up. Maybe... No, I mean, we will. We'll finish the game out, but it's probably going to be a while. Just because it's very frustrating. I do want to see the end of the game, um, but I don't actively want to deal with this bullshit. So, so we might we might just uh, steal content and talk over it. No, we're not. Nah, doing that. We'll play it out. That's fucked. <clears throat> anyway. No, you'll play it out. I'm just going to sit here glad that I don't have to play this game. Thank y'all for joining in. Uh, Did I do a comment question of the day? No, you didn't. You know what? This episode doesn't deserve one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you for joining in. Um, yeah. See y'all in the next series. What are we doing next? Cool. Bye.